haven't heard. Today is May the 4th, and as Star Wars fans like to say, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> And somebody turned that pond into a bit of fun, into a unique museum that features the largest Star Wars collection in the world. As KPX 5's Mary Lee shows us, you don't have to go to a galaxy far, far away to take the tour. Once a chicken ranch, this 10,000 square foot Sonoma County warehouse now houses what the Guinness Book of World Records called the world's largest collection of Star Wars paraphernalia. Rancho Obi-Wan is almost a uh, state of mind as well as a physical location. It's the home of my collection of almost half a million pieces of Star Wars memorabilia that I've been collecting for more than 40 years. The former head of Lucasfilm fan relations, Steve Sansweet, began his journey back in 1977. There was something about Star Wars that grabbed me from the very beginning. The characters, the basis in mythology, everything just added up to a fun ride. Although maybe not as fun as Luke Skywalker's trash compactor escape, the rise of Rancho Obi-Wan did begin in the trash with this promotional booklet. So it came to the guy who covered the movie industry at the Wall Street Journal, and he looked through it and he tossed it in his wastebasket. I waited for him to leave for the day and then sort of uh, tiptoed over to the wastebasket and did a little dumpster diving. And that was my very first Star Wars collectible. Since then, Sansweet's empire has grown. With rare toys and 8,000 piece Lego displays, Rancho Obi-Wan showcases every aspect of the Star Wars universe, including works of art. We have uh, mostly original art on the walls. I'm always looking for the unique. I just got a portrait of Leia done in buttons. Rancho Obi-Wan offers behind the scenes tours. They're filled with anecdotes about the items, how I came to collect them with tales of adventure and stupidity and fun. One of the more unusual adventures involved a visit to the set of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. When they burned Qui-Gon Jinn at the funeral pyre and they took the wax dummy out back, I sort of followed it and pieces had fallen off the wax dummy in the fire. Um, and so I have the last remaining pieces of Qui-Gon Jinn. So there are interesting stories, interactive photo opportunities, and an extensive library, a Star Wars video arcade, and you can't forget the entertainment. My own in-house band, of course, they play the same song over and over again, so it gets a little tiring. But Sansweet is far from tired. He continually finds inspiration from sharing his collection. It's very important for me to be able to let other people share what I have loved for so many years. Star Wars is forever, and that is a slogan that has never been truer. Ah, nice assignment from Mary Lee there. Nice job.